Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to design this part here in FreeCAD. And you'll use these dimensions here. And if you want this drawing, you can download it on the GrabCAD site. Okay. So here, first we create a new blank file. And here we select part design workbench. Create board and create a new sketch in XBlend. Okay, in this first sketch, we will draw. Uh, this first sketch will be a path, so here we select the spot line tool, click in this horizontal line, and now this origin point, and now press M three times, and you get this up here. And here we'll set the dimension for the sketch, so let's see here in this page. So here we see these dimensions here, 108 for these two points here. And the radius for this arc here will be 7. So we come back to this model and here we select this horizontal distance tool. We click in this endpoint and this endpoint and we set 108. Okay, and next we select this constraint here and we set the radius of this, of this arc here to 7. And now here we have one degree of freedom. So what to do is to select this center point, select this center point, and now this end point, and select this horizontal constraint. And now this sketch is constrained, so leave this sketch. Press home, and now we create a new sketch in YC plane. Okay, in this sketch we'll draw a cycle with with a diameter of a diameter of 50 you can see here for this part here diameter of 50 and we come back here and we select this cycle tool click in this original origin point and now draw the cycle here select this constraint click in the cycle here and you set fifth and now close this sketch and select this additive pipe tool and click in this button here and select this sketch and click OK. So now we have this part here. Okay, guys. So the next step is to create this part here. Next. To do that, we'll use uh, additive filters. We'll select additive cylinder to create this part here. So you will come back to this model and here we select this additive cylinder tool okay and what to do in these parameters is to change the dimension of the cylinder and the placement of the cylinder so in this in this page here we see a pad of 100 for this part okay and the diameter for the cylinder is 60 so we come back to this model and I will set this formula to the radius and here we set 100 okay so now we have this part here and next we'll select a plane for the cylinder so here we select this xy plane okay and click in this refresh button and okay click here flip sides and now we have the cylinder in this way. So what to do next is to change the X duration. Because as you can see, this cylinder is the distance between the center of the cylinder to this line here is 90. So we come back to this model here. We'll click in this view here. Okay, zoom out and now we'll change the X duration. So here we'll set 20 and okay. Now we click OK. Press home and let's go to this page here. So the next step here is to create this part here. To do that we'll use an additive cylinder again. So we select this tool here, the div cylinder, and here we change the dimension for this cylinder and the placement. So 
we go to this page and see the dimension for the cylinder so here we see a diameter of 6 to the cylinder here and the value of the pad is 8 so here we'll set this formula and here we'll set 8 ok is that And now we'll change the placement of the sketch here, you know, of the cylinder. So clicking this refresh button. Okay, guys, what to do here is to select a plane for the cylinder. So here we'll select this axial plane. Okay. And next to center this cylinder to this part here, we'll change. I think okay click in this view here so here we'll change the y duration no it's not the y duration let's try x duration okay we'll we'll change the z duration to minus 40 Okay, so now this cylinder is now centered. So now press home and click in this view here. We want to center the cylinder to the center of this part here. So here we'll change again the X duration to 20. No, it's minus 20. So now we click OK. And now we have this part here so next we will create this part here this part and this part here so first we we'll create this part so here we go to this document and we click in this additive cylinder and now let's see the dimension for the cylinder here so here we have this pad 20 and the diameter of this cylinder is 7. So here we set a range of 35 and the pad here to 20. And next we will we'll change the placement of this cylinder. So first here we'll sell it as, as a plane this face here. Okay, and we click in this option, initial CS. Now click in this video and OK, click OK. And next we click in this additive cylinder tool again and and here we'll set a pad of 10 and the diameter of this cylinder here will be will be 100. So we come back here and here we change this radius to 50. Okay, and now we'll change the placement of the cylinder. So first here we'll select as reference this face here. And we select this option, initial CS. And now we get this part and now click OK. And next here we click in this additive cylinder tool again. And we go to this page and see the dimension. Here we have 40 for the radius and the value of the pad will be 10, you can see here. So we change here to 40 and now we'll change the placement of this sketch. So we'll select as reference this face here and now select this inertial CS option. And here we'll select, we'll check this option, flip sides. And now click OK. So next here we'll do these these fillets here in this part and this part and this part. So the value of this fillet here is five. So first here we select this edge. So we select this edge here and we go to fillet tool we change this dimension to 5 and now we click in this add button and we add this edge here and now this edge and click ok 
and now you can see these fillets okay and next we'll select this space here and go to and you create a new sketch in this space okay and here we'll select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and what we want to draw here is this sketch is a sketch for this part here so we'll come back to this model and here we select this arc tool and we draw these arcs and now select this line tool and connect these arcs Okay, and now select the cycle tool and do this versus cycle and now the cycle here and now select this tangent constraint and make these arcs and lines tangent. Okay. And now here we select this equal constraint and we make these cycles equal and now we'll make these two arcs equal and these two arcs equal and now we'll set this arc equal to this edge here okay and now we select this smart constraint we constrain this line this point here and this point to this horizontal line and now we get this so now what to do is to see the dimension for this sketch here. So here we have this distance 100. Okay, and and here the radius for this arc is 15 and the diameter of this cycle is 15. So here we select this vertical distance tool, clicking this point here and this point, and here we set 100. And now we select this constraint here, we change this dimension to 15 and this arc to 15 and now close this sketch and we go to this pad tool and here we check this option, reverse it and the pad will be 10, so click OK. Ok, now we'll create, we'll create these walls here here and here and and this one here so what to do first is to go to this document go to model and click in this additive pipe click in this this arrow and here we'll copy this sketch here so print click on mouse and go to and go to this copy option and here we'll select only the sketch and click OK and now click in this icon to pass the sketch in this document and now select this sketch and drag it to body spacebar to make this sketch visible and select this sketch here and make this sketch visible and now double click in this sketch and what we'll do here is to change the diameter of this cycle here so in this page we see a diameter of 40 so double click in this dimension and change it to 40 and now close the sketch and next we go to this tool here and we'll select as object this this sketch here and now click ok so now you can see this wall here Okay, and next we'll here we select this this tool here, this aligner, and we go to the parameters. Here we'll change these parameters and 
the placement okay so first we'll create the we'll create this wall here so the diameter of, of this wall is 50 so here we'll set 25 and we can set a, a height of 100 and now we select this face here and this option initial cs and now click ok so now we have this wall here and next we select this tool again and here we'll change these dimensions and the placement so in this page we see uh, we see we see this diameter we see 20 here and the pad will set 100 so here we set 100 and the reds will be 10 and next here we'll select this face as a reference and now click in this option here and click ok and now we get this so next we select this face here and we go to this icon to create a new sketch switch to section view and here we select this cycle tool we draw a cycle in this vertical line and now we'll give a diameter and a distance so in this page we see a diameter of 10 and we have this distance 8 between the center of these cycles so we come back to this model and we change this diameter to 10 and now select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now this point and we set foot okay and now close this sketch and go to pocket tool here we set triangle and click ok and next we create this we select this face and create a new sketch switch to section view and here I use this tool here to extract this edge and now select the cycle tool click in this center point select this constraint here and change this diameter to 18 and now close this sketch and go to pocket tool here will set check this option reverse it and length here will be 5 and now we go to these we select these two pockets here and go to polar pattern tool and here we'll change only the number of occurrence to four and click ok and now we have this so we finished the design of this part here thank you for watching this video